Hi, Justin. Milestone three, John, the antique dealer assignment. All right, the bullying antique dealer assignment. Um, so, mood and emotion planned. Uh, so, using your roommate from Morocco, uh, having her just kind of think back to kind of recreating um, the, the, the story of John. Uh, motion going for it was sad, embarrassed uh, for how she treated others and regretting her childhood past. Okay, good. Um, let's take a look at your images. Um, yeah, the, the gloominess of the days uh, are really working to everyone's advantage. Um, so a bunch of images here that look really nice, um, that I think work very well. Um, some a little better than others. So let's take a look at your, uh, your critique images here. So I'm going to zoom out so we can get that entire thing in the frame. So we've got uh, the bridge um, kind of focused just on her and everything falls out of focus dramatically in the foreground. So it's kind of like we've got her right on the one-third line. Um, the, the feeling of sadness uh, I think comes through. I think maybe we could pop the head out just a little bit more so we could see a little bit more of the face. Um, but I think it's, we can tell by the body language that uh, there's some pain, there's some regret, there's some sadness going on. Um, for this one, uh, be a little bit careful of the rule of thirds and getting her out of the very center of the frame. Uh, now, in terms of illustrating the emotion, um, I think you have other images that are similar that work much, much better. For example, I'm going to say, and it's the one that I picked out right away. Oh, let's just kind of zoom. Down is this one right here. Uh, wonderful feeling, wonderful light. It's kind of got this uh, uh, this feeling. It's almost like dreamlike feel to it because you're shooting at f1.8, so we've got uh, pockets of sharpness, but uh, wonderful blurriness. Um, the lighting works very nicely. We've got separation between the subject and the background, and the the actual feeling of the sadness. Kind of like this one here. I think in between these two. Um, this one is a little bit stronger because we have uh, that feeling of being broken down, of, of we can see the face and it's in pain. Um, and then this one here, again, uh, stronger than the other one, uh, better composition and just uh, that feeling of that there, there's something wrong, that this person is sitting there, they're sad, um, they're, they're reflecting back on things that, that happened and uh, they're, they're regretful. All right, um, I liked this one as well. It's kind of interesting with the lights uh, kind of pulling us down and through to this uh, dark tunnel, kind of the uh, end of the tunnel there. And um, I also I also like this one here because we have the subject, but then we have this, uh, I don't know what's a stain or, or what it is, on the cement wall. It kind of it balances them out. So, oh, no, I think you did a good job. You've got some very strong images in here. Uh, the lighting and the, uh, the depth of field is wonderful. So great job. Any questions at all, please don't hesitate, hesitate in shooting me an email.